And all day we saw examples of the kind of determination it takes to tackle the Boston Marathon. Well, in fact, one man crawled on his hands and knees across the finish line. We're learning tonight that he is a Marine who refused to give up. WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us what motivated him and many more to keep pushing to the finish. You hear so many stories of inspiration as to why some people run the Boston Marathon and, of course, the spectators who stick around to cheer the last of them on. I spoke with one former Marine from Ohio. He told me he was finishing this marathon even if he had to crawl to the finish line, and that's just what he did today. You can see the pain and grit in Micah Herndon's face as he's inching towards the finish. I'm doing this on my own. His legs locked out near mile 22, forcing the Afghanistan veteran to get on his hands and knees. Micah wasn't giving up, drawing inspiration from three fellow comrades who didn't survive a bombing attack overseas. I say their last names out loud, you know, when I'm listening to my music. I just repeat. Ballard, Hamer, Juarez, Ballard, Hamer, Juarez. In that same fighting spirit, a powerful image of two uniformed soldiers carrying an exhausted runner down Boylston Street. It's the same camaraderie that brought these two together. Thomas Smith has been paralyzed three times. He walked the entire 26.2 mile route with two canes and a new friend. Super emotional. I have to thank Carlos. Um, we met around mile three, and uh, he could have easily run off, but he stuck by me the whole way. No left anybody behind. We finished together. Spectators who braved the rain and wind were brought to tears by their story, showing that there's no limit. I'm 73, so definitely not a limitation. I hope I'm still doing it when I'm 85. And no obstacle they can't overcome. The pain that I was going through is nothing compared to the pain that that they went through. And Micah says this was his first marathon he's ever participated in. He didn't get the time that he wanted, but this certainly won't be his last race. In Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.